Hi folks, this is Jay. I hope you're okay today. Um, I was just browsing through the internet and uh, um, I saw this guy again, uh, King Crocoduck. Now, again, there's going to be swearing in this video. I don't want to play the swearing, but it's important and I just want you to listen to it. Now, look at the title. Look at the title of his, of his video. This guy sounds really intelligent. We're all familiar with the intellectual dishonesty that is the. And yet, he's got a title like that, which is absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And that the atheists don't see any shame in having a title like that. Shows how, how disgusting the atheists are for allowing one of the YouTubers to put a title up like that and not say anything. That is absolutely disgraceful and disgusting. And you cannot have a democracy when people are going around like that calling people like that. Okay? So let's just hear what he has to say for a few minutes. Now he's going to swear, so please forgive that. Hallmark of the most repugnant of creationists. I think that it ought to be made clear just how deceitful these cerebrally bankrupt imbeciles really are. This is important for two very good reasons, and they are as follows. 1. The exposure of these fraudulent half-wits serves a dual purpose. Though it would be less painful and more productive to cast attention onto knowledgeable, amiable, and more importantly, voracious individuals, it is important to throw the aforementioned fucking fundamentalist fucktards into the spotlight that they so desperately crave but do not deserve, so that their stupidity is broadcasted in order to allow the inexorable public humiliation to ensue. I find that such humiliation is healthy for said individual... I don't... I, I think that, that that's absolutely disgraceful. You know, you can't have a democracy. I've been calling for the last two years for academic debates. The reason why I want academic debates is because I want to get away from this propaganda fight against atheism and Christianity which is not promoting real discussion and debate and also because amongst the atheists some atheists there is this kind of desire to push Christianity totally out of public space and the reason why I've been calling for academic debates is so that we show respect to each other and that we have to conduct uh, things in a more respectful way and in a scholarly way and also to be able to engage uh, and listen to each other in a way where it's not trying to pawn each other or savage each other which is the kind of culture that's on YouTube um, and this guy he wants to publicly in his own mind um, humiliate uh, creationist uh, because he thinks it's going to be good for democracy but it, what is good for democracy is that we recognize that each other each each in each individual person has their own beliefs and we've just got to respect that now he can't respect that other people have a different opinion than him and he wants to humiliate them and I think that's that's really anti civilization that you can't build a civilization on this kind of mentality and it's a sick mentality because scorn and ridicule diminish the ego which we can all agree is an excess among some of the more obscenely deceptive pricks on YouTube so I, 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 I just speechless I, I just I can't understand how anybody he sounds intelligent, but I can't understand how any atheist could see this guy as an intelligent person. Um, now, he might be able to uh, pull my arguments to bits or whatever, but this guy is not civilised. It's just not civilised to be talking about people in the way he's doing. I'm sorry. In addition, the consecutive loss and respect will have an so he's, he's got a kid doing fingers, <laughs> which is disgusting correlated effect on their prominence in the citations left by the other gullible brainless insects that crawl across the internet. The second main reason for pushing these cloddish reptiles into the spotlight is to demonstrate to the general public just how feeble the case for religion must be that so many of its followers... Yeah, it's interesting, Crocodile, you don't deal with Arsis Brule. It's interesting you don't deal with 
Dr. Al Muller, Tim Keller. Um, you don't actually deal with the best of the best, do you, mate? You just want to go around picking on people, but you're not willing to actually knock on the door and say, Excuse me, Dr. Sproul, you're a well known theologian. Could I just actually have a debate with you? Instead, you make this moronic, silly, stupid, childish videos about creationists. They're tempted to violate the ninth commandment that they so blithely and hypocritically intend to force upon the rest of us rational, reasonable people. You're not rational and reasonable. A rational and reasonable person wouldn't be making videos like you do, mate. Okay? They're not rational and they're not reasonable. They're bigoted and they're narrow-minded. You see, I've got respect for atheists and I want atheists to have their democratic rights. And if atheists can see that I'm a religious person in a democracy and respect my rights, then I'm happy. But I can't respect your kind of atheism, which is narrow-minded and bigoted the way it is. Today we will discuss one of the most egregious little liars I've ever had the displeasure to converse with. Michaela 3737 commented on one of my Eric Hovind commentaries. In the interest of time, I will post only the more disgustingly unscrupulous statements made by this charlatan. To post and address them all would be to run the risk of crashing. So there we have it. I can't go on anymore. I'll leave a link to the video. It's not even worth replying to, really. But, uh, all I can say, Crocoduck, uh, someone, someone on, um, Skype, and I just, uh, I'll, uh, I'll just, just be one second, sorry, someone's, uh, We'll ring in a uh, uh, well, uh, just something. Uh, so sorry about that. Um, it's just someone on Skype just Skype me. Um, I I I just think that. The crocodile, that you're not doing uh, YouTube any good. I think you're destroying YouTube. I think you, you're not showing any scholarship, any quality. Um, I, I just think that um, you seem quite bright, but you seem very na narrow and bigoted, um, and you're just perpetuating narrow mindedness, narrow mindedness and bigotry, really. Uh, you know, people are educated, you know, I have a degree from Manchester University, um, you know, we, we, we are we, I, we are qualified, I'm qualified to, to be teaching about Christianity, much more than you're qualified to be criticising Christianity, okay? Um, and there are many intelligent Christians on YouTube, and there are many intelligent atheists on YouTube, uh, so to go around demonising people the way you do, Again, it's narrow-minded and and full of bigotry. And that's why sometimes I've made quite a lot of videos against this narrow-minded, hardcore, bigoted kind of atheism. And I hope one day that people like you, Crocoduck, um, you know, sort of leave YouTube and uh, go and do something else because you're clogging up YouTube, you you, you're not promoting real democracy, you're not promoting real science, you're not promoting real scholarship, all you're promoting is narrow-mindedness and bigotry, okay? And those who follow you are also promoting narrow-mindedness and bigotry, all right? So take care, uh, King Crocoduck. I'm sure you will do some kind of intelligent uh, montage of, uh, of putting a mishmash of clips of me and I'm sure you'll do a great job in making me look stupid but always remember this okay I have a degree from Manchester University four years study in theology and pastoral studies
Ouais. And I've been studying theology for over fifteen years. When it comes to theology, I know what I'm talking about, mate. And if you need to know about theology, I'm the man to come to. Okay? And uh, when you lot are attacking Christianity, I, as a theologian, who knows what he's talking about, who has hundreds and hundreds of sermons, who's done hundreds and hundreds, countless uh, times of public uh, preaching, who has read tons and tons of theology books and has counselled hundreds of people um, when I say that you King Crocoduck have absolutely no idea what you're talking about when you're critiquing Christianity I'm speaking from someone who knows what he's talking about and with authority alright so take care King Crocoduck I hope you stop your narrow mindedness and your bigotedness and you start treating people with more respect. Alright, take care, God bless.